Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at zip. Zip is a method that, as the name would suggest, is able to take two collections and zip them together, a lot like a zipper in pants. I know that sounds a little bit strange, but let me show you the first example. Let's have a simple collection here with four digits in it, and then let's zip together another array five six seven and eight let's check out the results okay so we get a collection that has four collections inside so we see that they've paired together one at a time so one and five come from one on the first collection and five in the second collection the second set is two and six two from the first collection six from the second collection and so on and so forth three and seven and four and eight three seven and four eight so this allows you to take two collections and zip them together. Now, you can pass any number of arrays to the zip. For example, if we ran a second array and maybe said A, B, C, and D, let's check out the results. So now we get 1, 5, which is what we had already, but then we've also matched A. So 1 from the first collection, 5 from the first array, and A from the second array so on and so forth, 26B, and it continues to do that further on. Now, this leaves us wondering, what if they don't match? What if we had a different amount of numbers in each one? Let's just say we have four digits in the first collection, and then we pass an array with four items, and then another array, but only with two items this time. Let's check out the results. So fair enough, we get null for those. So this leaves us to a little trick about zip. Let's say that you need to offset one of these values you can actually pass in null as the first value, which will actually offset by one. Let's check out the results and notice that A and B are now in the second and third position. And then if we passed in another null argument here, then of course we've offset by two. So now we have null, null, A and B. Let's take a look at one more example here. Let's say we had ID, name, and email. And let's pretend that those are headers, maybe coming back from a form or something like that. And we'll zip those up and we'll pass in ID, we'll say is one, two, three. The name is gonna be Bob and their email is gonna be bob at email.com. Let's check out the results. And there we go. So we're able to match up these headers to each of the fields. So the name is Bob and the email is bob at email.com. This can be used inside of view, for example, where you need to have named headers for a table and you don't want to use the headers from your database, for example. This will allow you to overwrite that and have those values available to you in your views. Now, one thing about zip is that it does return a brand new collection. So if you were to do something like collection equals collect, and then let's call zip on collection, and then return collection. Let's check out the results. As you can tell, we just get the very first collection. If you needed to save the results of zip, you actually need to save that to a new variable. We'll say new collection equals that, and then we're gonna return new collection. And sure enough, we're back to where we started. So that's it for zip. I hope you can find some use for it.